Hey everyone, Retro Girls UK back for a brand new video and today it's going to be a pick up video of stuff we got from CX We've got quite a few things, not as much as we normally do So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe And most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get all the latest updates So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it <laughs> Okay, so if everyone's wondering, we did get these all from a voucher. If you want to check how we got our voucher, check out our Purge uh, playlist where we did trade in loads of stuff from the collection and we told you what we thought of stuff and you'll see the prices we got for stuff. We have got quite a big voucher, nearly 170, something like that. So, I'm going to go through the stuff we picked up. The first thing we went to one CX, we didn't record in there. Lisa picked up one film, this is The Sentinel. Uh, this is uh, obviously on Blu-ray. It's starring Keith Sutherland and Yvette Longoria. I thought that was um, Sandra Bullock at first, but obviously it's not. Um, with this, you can tell um, it's a quite an older release because you get all the um, advertisers for films. Like Death Proof, which um, on one of our previous videos we did pick up for a pound for a pound and we sold it to see it. It's like a six pound voucher. Uh, the next one is um, a DC animation, so this is Batman, Death in the Family. This is an interactive, it says interactive movie, so I assume that you pick, oh yeah, hang on, it shows on the top, will Robin die or not die? Uh, this is, uh, it shows all four, five showcase animated shorts. The Batman animations are quite good, Lisa is a big DC fan, as you've probably seen on video, she's got a, a Batman tattoo on her neck. Uh, this does come with a slip cover. Well, not too bad about the condition of the slip. Whoops, condition of the slip cover. Yes, I did just smack myself in the face of it. And that was four pounds. Picked up another film with George Clooney and Jennifer Lopez on Blu-ray, so nineteen ninety-eight. Out of sight. Never watches. I'm not sure if Lisa's watched this. I don't think she has. Um, we made five pounds. This, as you would have seen if you check out our community post, we've been watching a lot of movies lately. Lisa's been watching more of the harder stuff. I've been watching all like that night of templar type of movies so don't forget to always check our community posts as we do posts on there what we're watching or anything that we're trading or any deals that we see so don't forget to join us on our facebook group retro girls uk movies and gaming as we have been posting some deals on there and there's loads of other people posting deals on there as well and pickups they've got so this is out of sight with george clooney as i was saying and it just comes with the same artwork as on the front cover Next, I picked up, as you would have seen on the Christmas video, if you've watched it, if you haven't, or did, uh, check it out, uh, the Christmas present, we, I did get some Doctor Who's, the old Doctor Who's, um, so this time from the voucher, from the stuff that we're trading, I picked up Doctor Who Season 22. It does include all 13 episodes, it says on the back, restored to Blu-ray and packaged with brand new material, so if you want to give it a pause, you feel free to, um, to see what's on there, I'll zoom in. I just come with a slip. I'm gonna get the labels off. Hopefully they come off without uh, ripping them. And obviously the discs are like this. Different artwork that tells you what's on there. So it's Attack of the Cybermen, Vengeance of uh, Veros, and there's another Vengeance. And with this, what I love most about it, Lisa pointed out in the store, it opens up like this. So it velcros up. Hardly one hand. So it opens up like that. It's got a booklet in. And it shows it inside the tiles. I did just drop so Give me one moment to pick it up. In there, there is a leaflet showing all the Doctor Who stuff you can get. So it's showing you like the Doctor Who Boops Audios, the Doctor Who Immersive Time of Fracture, some figures and the magazine you can buy. So, ooh, enamel pins there. If you check out enamel pins, sure. Um, we did do it on um, our enamel pins that we've got in the collection of the, the pin board. Which I actually don't own any Doctor Who, which I'm quite surprised. 
showing you all sorts in here doctor who worlds of wonder uh the vinyls i do like the vinyls that you can get in doctor who and with this it does come with the book so it's showing you um, what's on the listen to Harvins. and it's showing you oops it's in really good condition that the flip cover compared to the box showing you all about the episodes etc if you want to see closer do comment down below and i will pull it um up some pictures on instagram for you so this one's showing you like, the rehearsal period it's telling you all the details it is quite a big read uh last but not least we picked up two games uh to add to the collection lisa didn't pick any games up today there wasn't nothing she was fancy in picking up um as this is more the gangster type of shooting up games and we're almost and it's already out on the playstation so we picked up a, a switch game and a ps5 game i picked up a game that isn't very common on cx website this was 15 pounds this is the um the outbound ghost never played it. it is in two a world in 2.5d colorful character it says it is one player unfortunately so it's not two player game if you play for mario vibe slash luigi's mansion um and as the same with switch games you do get reversible artwork in most of them comment down below have you ever played this can you get this on any other console because i'm not too sure for 18 pounds i thought it was well worth picking up because you can you always see common titles we don't see stuff like this very often in our cx stores last but not least i picked up a game i was i didn't know this was out yet i do love my like roller coaster tycoons or like theme park world um all those sort of games so we picked up on the ps5 roller coaster tycoon adventures deluxe i know there's a version on the switch you can buy i think there might be a different game to this not 100 percent sure this is one player like all the old games who look who used to remember the one on the pc that you used to play i think we still own it and um, we do own one on the ps1 i think as well this is one gig uh one gigabyte this is design your own park free game modes 80 more rides it says but do love it you can't beat it um so it does look like that same disc on the artwork um but i thought for a while good price to see we traded some stuff that we didn't like or stuff that we want to upgrade to complete box sets so um the question today is uh, what have you picked up recently actually no that's not question of the day question of the day is what is a switch game um that you have uh, picked up recently or any video game that you could recommend us to watch and what is your all-time favorite game that you could play all the time mine is i will admit sims is hit and run on um the ps2 or gamecube oh, we don't own a gamecube copy but oh, we own the xbox copy lisa's i'm going to say is going to be gj5 or or uh sleeping dog i'd say gj5 because she plays more but she is a big sleeping dogs fan she's owns on every console and she's completely on every console we own so i want to say thank you ever so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and most importantly don't forget to hit that notification bell to get all the latest updates and always check out our community posts to get to get other updates that we don't always post on, on video so stay safe and keep hunting